Okay, I am going to put this thing back in the car. Um, it's been a while. So let's take a look at this rig I got. Uh, it's basically a two post lift with a, a motor bar that's supposed to sit on the strut towers, uh, suspended over the arms of the two post lift engine. I'll rig up some chain. And I actually did a little wash job on the 924 because it's just filthy with dust and dirt from other projects. So the key here is the geometry to get it off this stand and then push the car underneath it and then set it down in the engine bay. So hopefully I can get that right the first time. All right, I got some chains on it, and uh, I think it's safe. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, I went ahead to put the motor mounts on there loosely. Uh, I do have some adjustment with that screw on top, so once I kind of get it in the engine bay, it looks like I have about a foot to play with to drop it down in there gently and line up those motor mounts. Uh, I know without uh, the torque tube in it, it's going to try to pitch forward because of the way the motor mounts are. And I might be able to put a block or something uh, under the cross member there to kind of support it, keep it from tipping forward. Uh, I always figure out something. So, all right, I'm going to lift her up and start setting her down. So the driver's side motor mount bracket is getting fouled up and uh, hard lines on the brake master cylinder. So I'm just gonna take that off just to kind of maneuver it around and then put it on once I get in a freer spot. So another thing that's gonna get in your way is uh, the manual rack on this car. The, the steering shaft has to come off the uh, rack. I couldn't just, it, I had the bolt out of where the U-joint joins onto the knuckle, the splined in, but I couldn't get that to come off. So I just basically pulled the bolts out of the rack. And of course then, yeah, but with that shaft in the way, it, it hits right here on the pan. And then there's a troublesome bracket over here that you gotta kind of fish this around that one right there on your way in so I'm still working it well I'm also clocking the engine a little bit counterclockwise turning it because uh, you got to get that oil pan around that cross member down there see it on the other side of the steering knuckle there so yeah it's canted I don't know about 10 degrees counterclockwise I'm getting there now I'm using my screw thing to let her down easy and uh, I can kind of monkey with it as it goes down all right I got it in there it was not fun uh, passenger side uh, the problem was getting the new motor mount to line up so basically you know I had the motor mount installed on the bracket I lowered it below the uh, body bracket and then tried to fish those bolts up through there well they kept getting misaligned and it was a lot of trouble steering them in there there's no room to work and once i finally got that kind of guided in there i got one nut on it um, and then i went to this side and uh, i put that bracket on uh, you still see one bolt that's loose. I'm going to have to get a ratcheting 17 millimeter in there. Anyway, fish that back up in there without the motor mount on it. And then once I had it in there loosely, then I was able to put the motor mount. And that actually went pretty easy. There's a lot more room to work. It would be uh, tremendously easier if your brake booster and master cylinder were off. But... I wasn't willing to do all that. So uh, once I got that side all nestled in there and bolted together, then I went back to the 
to the passenger side and finish it off. So right now it's it's suspended. I still need to tighten up a few few bolts, but it's in there for the night. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I was almost wishing I wouldn't have put all this top end stuff on it because it just got in the way. But uh, you know, it is what it is. It didn't pitch forward too much like I thought it would because it'll rest on the uh, cross member, the pan, and so I uh, hope I don't have to do this again. But we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.